All right, this is going to be a rather short video because what we're going to do is we're going to use either the addition, the multiplication, or both of the properties of equality to solve these problems. So let's just take a look at the first one. There's nobody to move. The X is already on his side. The number's on the other side. So it looks to me like the only thing we have to do is decide if three people are getting six cookies, then I'm not interested in the three people. I'm interested in me. How many am I getting? You always, always, always divide by the number attached to the variable. So I'm going to draw my divide line, and I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. 3 into 3 is x or 1x, and 3 into 6 is 2. So in this case, when I divide by the number of the variable 3, I get x is 2. So each person gets two cookies. OK, on this one, I have a negative 4x equal 8. Now, I don't have to move anybody. But I do have to solve for a positive 1x, and I can't do that with a negative 4 sitting there. So we need to divide both sides by the number attached to that x. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4, negative 4. Remember in division, a negative into a negative is a positive, and a negative into a positive is a negative. So 4 into 8 is 2, but it is a negative 2. Now, you've already had one of these before because I kind of got it in there on another video. So let's see if you remember. Yes, this is a negative 1x, but I don't solve for a negative 1x. I solve for a positive x. So we need to divide by 1, negative 1. Let's divide both sides by negative 1. 1 into 1, two negatives make a positive. And a negative 1 into 6, one negative make a negative negative 6. Okay? Now let's come back over here and try some of these. It looks to me like on this one we've got two issues. One, we need to move the 12 to the other side, but then when we get finished we don't have oh, just one x, so we'll have to deal with that as well. Let's start by moving the 12, which you know how to do. The opposite of a 12, positive 12 is a negative 12, and that clears. And when I come over here, that's going to be a negative 12, and an 8 and a negative 12 make what? A negative 4. So we have, this time let's do pizza. We have four people going to get negative 4 pizzas. What do we have to divide by? We've got to divide by the number of people we have. So if I divide by 4, one person will get, if that's possible, a negative 1 pizza. All right, let's look at this one. I'm going to move the 3 to be on the other side with a negative 10. So we're going to do negative 3 to clear and a negative 3. We now have a negative 5x is equal to, and negative and more negative is a whole bunch of negatives. So that's a negative 13. It's now time to use the multiplication property of equality. Multiplication and division, same thing. So we will divide by a negative 5 and a negative 5. Negative into a negative makes a positive 1x. And negative, negative, two negatives in division do make a positive. So I'll just keep it 13 over 5. It isn't necessary to change that to a mixed number, just 13 over 5. All right, let's try a couple more. Okay, this is going to be kind of tricky, so watch out. Okay, I'm going to have 7x minus a negative 4 equal 18. Okay, now there's, there's something you need to look at here, because if you move that negative 4 by doing this, by adding a plus 4, we have a little bit of a problem because you forgot to look at something. Look what is outside the parentheses. Let me erase that, please. That negative outside the parentheses is like a negative 1. It says change whatever's in there to the opposite. So a negative 1 times a negative 4 is a positive 4, isn't it? Let me rewrite that problem. 7x plus 4 
equal 18. You've got to really watch those negatives outside of parentheses. Even if there isn't a, an add or subtract or multiply or whatever inside the parentheses, there was a negative outside and that changes everything. So 7x plus 4 equal 18. Now we can move the 4 to the other side. Let's take away 4 to clear, take away 4. We now have 7x will equal 14. We have 7 people. And I think we have candy bars this time. We have seven people, and there's 14 candy bars sitting on the table. I'm not interested in how many seven people get. I'm interested in what I get. So I'm going to divide by the number of people that we have, and that means 1x, which is going to be me. I'm going to get 7 into 14 is two candy bars, and that sounds pretty good to me. Okay? And let's just try one more just like that. Okay, let's go... Let's say 3x minus a negative 4 uh, equal, oh, I think maybe 12. Okay, now two things we got to do here. We've got to take care of that negative sign outside the negative 4, and then we've got to deal with the 3x. So I'm going to begin by taking care of this right here. A negative 1 times a negative 4 is a positive 4. So I'm going to write. 3x plus 4 equal 12. Now we can tell the 4 to move to the other side. Take away 4. Now we have 3x equal 12, and you add to it a negative 4 is 8. Now I can't leave 3x equal 8 because I want to solve for x. So let's divide by 3. This will clear to 1x. And there's not much we can do with that. We can't reduce it any further. So we'll just say that 1x is equal to 8 over 3. So these problems are samples of using the addition and the multiplication properties of equality. We're about ready to go a little bit deeper in our next video to some other equations. Good job.